installing Visual Studio 2008. To prepare for this video, you should have purchased Visual Studio 2008 Standard Edition or higher. Installing Visual Studio 2008 is usually very easy and can be completed in just a few steps. However, there are some issues that may occur when initially running the application. Please see the Zoax.net support page for this video for some solutions. First, to install Visual Studio 2008, you'll need a DVD player on your machine. After running the DVD, you'll see this welcome screen. Just click Next to continue. Then it will ask you to read and accept the license terms, and then to enter the product key, which can be found inside the case. On this screen, you can choose what to install. If you have the space, install all components, including the optional SQL Server 2005. Click Install to begin. The installation itself may take several minutes to complete. When finished, you'll see this screen. Just click Finish to exit. To make sure that the installation was successful, double-click the Visual Studio icon on your desktop. This screen will appear the first time you run Visual Studio. Just select the Visual C++ development settings as your default and click Start Visual Studio. You will then see this dialog box pop up. In a few minutes, the Visual Studio IDE should appear. You have now successfully installed Visual Studio 2008. This concludes the lesson.